Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we'll discuss of three tricks, only three tricks, learning which you can very easily handle your learning of English grammar. So let's see what's waiting for us in our learning of three tricks for English grammar. Yes, dear friends, the first one. Most of the time, what happens? When you consider English grammar, you actually consider it separately from the English language. But how is it possible, dear friends? Every time you consider of grammar, it's very much related to the language in which it is uh, hidden. So grammar is actually the skeleton. So how can you consider your skeleton without considering your body? The same thing happens when you consider English grammar, you have to consider the English language. So to do this, uh, I have a very simple trick which you may follow. Whenever you read a sentence, try to find out very simple grammatical things in it. Like uh, you are trying to find out uh, what's the subject of the sentence and what parts of speech, whether this is a phrase or a clause, what's the verb, whether the verb is a phrase or it's a simple uh, verb action word, uh, what are the tenses hidden in it, how it gets connected with the subject and the object. So these very simple thing, very basic things try to find out when you read a sentence and you will find that grammar learning is really very very easy and then comes our second point what's the second point you must remember what is english grammar english grammar is a very connected formulas it's like mathematics yes dear friends it's the mathematics in language so what it will do you will learn each and every chapter considering they are connected to each other. How are they? If you consider parts of speech and tense and voice change and narration change and mood. Now what you will get? You will get they are interconnected. Parts of speech. If you don't learn parts of speech properly, if you don't learn all the components of the verbs, it will be very difficult for you to do something intense without the proper knowledge of parts of speech and tense. It's very difficult for you to learn what? To learn voice change, narration change and without learning them properly, you can't dive deep into weird mood because it gets connected with all these chapters as well as your learning of clause. So these are not separate chapters. Don't consider them as separate chapters which you may learn and gradually you can gather information and uh, solve some grammatical questions and you will get marks. This is not the actual theory of learning English grammar. Here for English grammar, your stands would be very simple. I will learn everything I will find out the connections between chapters among chapters when I'll learn them. So this is your simple second steps which you may follow to make your English grammar learning easy. And now we have the third one. Yes, dear friends, this is very important. So when you have already followed the first step and the second step, the third one is which chapter you must learn properly with all its ingredients. Yes, dear friends, the problem arises there because I have found most of my students, they come to me and uh, they are telling me, yes, sir, we have learned uh, English grammar. So what have you learned? Have you learned parts of speech? Yes, I have. That's their answer. But when I ask them, how many types of parts of speech are there? Most of them answer. And 
very few of them they uh, can't answer but when i ask them one question tell me dear friends what is the difference between a word and a parts of speech both are used in a sentence i have a ball i have a football or i have a cricket bat now tell me which are the parts of speech and which of them are words now they get things confused they don't find out what's the difference between words and parts of speech so when you don't know parts of speech how can you learn the other chapters of english grammar i won't call them chapters rather i'll call them components the other components of english grammar it's not possible why because english grammar is something that has a very very close connection with parts of speech if you haven't learned parts of speech properly you will suffer in your learning of english grammar in your learning of all the other chapters so there only one simple thumb rule to follow and the rule is it's very simple the rules is very simple learn parts of speech with all its components that means all the different types of parts of speeches and the different types of all the parts of speech and also their uses and most important thing that is the position they occur in a sentence in our channel we have already prepared some of them in position of noun in a sentence position of adverbs in a sentence you may check them i'll put everything in the description and also in the i button above from where you can learn very easily the position of different parts of speech in a sentence this is very important most of the time i have found my students they are skipping it so when i uh, inspire them i don't teach anyone because i don't think that we can teach we can only inspire so when i inspire my students to learn these components properly i have found them there's a massive change in their ability of uh, english grammar grammar learning so let's uh, recap once again what are the three steps very simply we would understand them the first is you have to find out grammar from the language because language and grammar aren't the separate things second rules second rules is what you have to consider each and every chapter interconnected they aren't separate and the third one and the most important one when you have decided that you'd learn english grammar properly your first step will be to learn parts of speech very clearly with each and every component and you have to remember all the things about parts of speech and this will make these three steps will make your learning of english grammar easy and that i can assure you so try it tell me in the comment section below whether it works or not we are returning very soon with some very interesting discussion on english grammar learning education until then bye bye happy learning